As I elaborate on this topic, when it comes to suicide and how people let the problems of the world stress them out, bad relationships, stuff that really get people stressed out, I'm going to tell you, as a man that love the human race, which is the whole race, all a month, before you take that 12 gauge, man, and blow your cranium out, don't do it. Everyone's life is precious. God made all of us in his eye. He love us. He's the only one that's sanctioned. He, he's the only one that's sanctioned to do that and ordain to do that. Okay? It's not up to you to feel as though you want to take your own life, brother, sister. This is why it's so important that you embrace the topics, the dialogue, and everything when they got to do to the Most High. He's a gracious God. He's a God that forgives. He's someone you can talk to every day on the hour, on the second, on the clock. He's the one that listens to you, your cry, and your time of need. But in order for you to know this, you must practice and you must be obedient and obey his laws. You wonder why you stressed out. You wonder why you can't find a good job. You wonder why you wonder why because you're not embracing the activities of the most high. You want to live a worldly life. You can be of the world but not in the world. Oh yes you can. And people will flee. And those people that will flee are the ones that is trying to bring deviation in your life. You know, suicide is a sad thing when people take it upon themselves to take away their own life. I can't even imagine what's going through those people's mind at that time period when they decide to do that. It is a sad thing. Because it tells me that they gave up on themselves. This is why I come serious with my commentary. Because it's things certain people put themselves in and you know right from wrong. You know it's going to condemn you. So why put yourself through this? You know that woman ain't right. So why would you mess with her? You know that man ain't right. So why would you mess with him? This goes for the teenagers and juveniles too. You know that crew you hang with is out there creating havoc. Hurting people, murdering people, robbing people. You know it's going to be detrimental to you. So why do you keep following them? Why do you keep hanging around them? These things lead up to suicide. Because when you get incarcerated, you get raped. It's the men. This goes out to the men and the women. You feel like you've been used. And you have been. You've been abused. In and out of prison being raped you might even have a disease you might have aids or something then you get to thinking 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 my life has no meaning i'm suffering i want to just blow my head off or your wife left you or your husband left you that's not the way to go suicide is not the answer folks you know this is a very serious topic and I got to come strong with it because it's a major concern to me. I keep hearing about this uh, sadness too. People taking their lives. I mean, it's not nothing new, but it's something to address. And and I really care about the uh, living of human beings, especially if it's not by God's hand, it's by their hand. I'm very concerned because you don't supposed to kill yourself at all. It's not for you to do. I'm not going to sugarcoat it.
And it's a sad thing in this day and hour when people decide that it's time to go. This is the only way they can free themselves from pain. No. It's not. So as I elaborate on the topic, it's not. This is why you must get yourself around positive folk. This is why you must not consort with evil, be with evil, indulge in evil ways. This is why. And the devil don't care. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to kill yourself. He talk to you. Oh, life ain't nothing. You, you'll never be nothing in life. Just, just go ahead and do it. This, this, this is going to help you on your way. No, you're being tricked. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to end it all. He wins. And all the time you was living on earth, you wasted your time. So don't engage in that. Everyone has a purpose that's born into this world to live. Everyone has everyone has a God-given talent. Everyone. And don't let no one tell you different. Because they bullshitting you. You're not born for nothing. You're not created for nothing. A lot of people got low self-esteem. It's amazing in 2015, I mean, not 2015, 2016, excuse me. Must have been one of my videos I was thinking about the other year ago. 2016, still low self-esteem. For what? You gotta have confidence. You wanna lose that weight, lose it. If you want a better life, do it. Don't wait on one. Don't wait on no one to keep telling you that. Do it. You know you're feeling uncomfortable with that person. It's time to roll. But don't kill yourself. Suicide is not the answer, folks. Now I'm not gonna keep going on and on. Your life is precious. And when it's time for you to go, that's God's call, not your call. All of my productions, think about it. I know it's hard out here. I know it ain't no peaches and cream out here. And to all you soldiers, I know, and thank God for y'all being the defenders of our country and fighting for our country. But, hey, bro, hey, hey, sis, it's not worth it. I know y'all coming back with that post-traumatic syndrome and I know some of y'all limbs are missing. I pray. I sent a prayer up for y'all. Because it's hard. When you used to have something, now it's gone. Y'all got to start all, start all over for scratch. Y'all got to start all over. You know, I seen the, the footage and the hospitals and all that. The burn victims and, and the trauma unit. and People coming back with missing limbs due to war. This is why we need to pray even more. This is why we need to pray for our countries. Pray for our country. It's serious. It's serious. Always have been. That's why I live my life of trying not to worry about certain things. Because I know it, right now this junk can end. It can end any day. No one knows the day and the hour. No one knows the day and the hour of the Son of Man. Okay? Live your life. Enjoy your life. Because that's what the devil is trying to do, sabotage your life and trick you into killing yourself. Don't fall for that. Your life is more worth than what the devil is telling you. Your life is precious. Your life is powerful. Your life is, you was born for a reason. You have a purpose. You have to fulfill that purpose while you're living on earth. Tap into your God-given talent. If you know you want to do something, you love it, do it. Don't let no one deter you from that. 
And the ones that try to deter you from that, remove yourself from them. Because they're not with you. They are your enemy. Okay? Peace out. All of my productions. I hope you get this.